Federal agents making an unusual find at a home on Detroit's west side. Investigators say a man was operating a vending machine that dispensed marijuana. The amount of money they say he pocketed was astounding. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows you the evidence and just how the feds made the discovery. The family of Marcellus Cornwell did not want to say anything on his behalf to us, but there's a video going around on social media that may tell investigators all they need to know. You know, he was shocked that we came there. Um, as far as some of the other things were going on with him, you know, natural human reaction like, oh, look, I got caught. On the side of this house in Detroit's west side is where federal investigators say they found the marijuana vending machine belonging to 43-year-old Marcellus Cornwell. And this video shared with us by ATF is part of the evidence they've collected. Watching the video on YouTube, you can watch somebody walk up. They can either uh, insert a $20 bill. They can insert how much ever, whatever denomination they wanted, even took credit cards, walked up, insert the form of payment selected the uh, amount of marijuana that you wanted, uh, dispensed it, came out in a little hopper, you just stuck your hand in, you had little baggies of marijuana at your disposal. ATF agents say Cornwell was making about $2,000 a day and he allegedly told them the marijuana vending machine was up for about four years. When the vending machine is open to the public, no controls about who can have access to it, um, minors, you know, uh, persons who are not authorized to have that, that's a little bit of a problem. Cornwell's criminal history dates back to the early 90s. His convictions include armed robbery, felony firearm, and identity theft. So he's not even supposed to be in possession of a firearm. But federal investigators say they found 18 guns in the house that he told them he's lived in all of his life. Investigators say some of the guns were reported stolen. And Cornwell allegedly told ATF agents that he bought most of the guns off of the street and he was aware he was not allowed to possess them. I have to say the brazenness of it um, was, was shocking. I think the number of firearms that we found in, in connection with it was very shocking, very disturbing. Federal agents say they're still investigating allegations that Cornwell sold drugs and guns to minors. But the big thing is, look, you do this stuff inside a, a neighborhood, people are gonna take notice and they're gonna get mad and they're gonna want something done about it. And that's exactly what my agents did. Cornwell's defense attorney said he cannot comment on the pending case. On Detroit's west side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.